Hi guys, Kim here. Welcome to Backyard Blooms. In today's video, we are going to talk about romanticizing the mundane, the art of all the little quiet times in your life. So anyways, this is my quiet time. I could be inside doing a million other things instead of enjoying this beautiful sunshine. It is the first part of November. And this past weekend, we had super cold weekends like it was in the 30s and it was freezing and now we're having this gorgeous week where it's going to be in the 70s and the 80s can you believe it so i am going to take that time and enjoy this when i have my short sleeve t-shirts on and i can come out here and enjoy the sunshine i'm not sweating today i'm actually just enjoying the weather that we have out here today so this is my cottage garden right here and I have three concrete containers that are just exactly the same and look you guys they are so beautiful these pansies and the violas that are just the weeping violas are just so so pretty and I just love it just take in everything that you can take in like the beauty of the ivory that's on this uh Trying to think of the name in my art of being mundane here. <laughs> Anyways, this is an ivy and I'm just enjoying like all the variations of colors on there. It's just so, so pretty. And these big white pansies with the yellow center, just everything that's just so beautiful and everything is filled in so nicely. And I'm just enjoying like all the little bees and butterflies that are around me today. I was doing a little short and I was sitting here on the grass trying to catch like some birds behind me. And if I wasn't doing that, then I would have not noticed all the butterflies that were just flying around enjoying some of the pollen on some of the really pretty lantana that I have. So actually some of the frost got a lot of it, but there's some that did not. So I was just enjoying all the butterflies and I'll throw that up in the little Art of my Modane. Lumberdane. Oh. Uh. So, in, so in order to celebrate the art of quiet little moments, then I thought I'd just bring you along with me today. And we're going to water all my pansies and violas that I have today. And we're going to fertilize them. And I'm going to fertilize them with this Maxi. This is the first time for me trying this. This is a water-soluble fertilizer. And I'm just going to put about a teaspoon or so into this two gallon container. So I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of food. Just a little bit of that maxi, and I'll have that link in my description. And I'm just gonna mix that in there just a little bit. I don't wanna give it too much, but just enough to give it a little bit of food right here in the fall. One of the reasons why I love to come and water everything is to take the time, especially in the summertime, I have everything on drip, but in the summertime, it needs to be watered every single day. Of course, here in the fall, I don't have to water every single day, but maybe every three or four days. You see that bee around my hair? While I'm sitting here watering, I'm just enjoying like everything that I can take in. I'm enjoying all the pansies, the beautiful color, this Miss America mustard and this kale over here. I'm just enjoying everything and all the colors. And right now I'm listening to the wind blow this chime behind me as well. Still have a lot of some bees around, not as many as I did, but the hummingbirds have all gone. But today the frost has gotten a couple of my perennials, so I need to cut some of them back as well and just tidy up the garden here in late fall. So it's the first part of November and there's still things that we can do. Everybody asks me if I struggle with content and I'm like, no, because everything's changing in the garden right now. So I, I don't feel like I ever have to struggle with content and I like to change up all my containers so you can be excited about that. I'm always going to at least change up the containers for um, like right now, I got fall and spring plants in here. And then in the summertime, we'll exchange them out. And um, I've got lots of containers here in the garden. So 
I just love flowers and I love being outside. So this is, to me, is my quiet time. Tell me what your peaceful time is. What do you like to do? I know a lot of people like to sit down and read a book, that that's very enjoyable for them. I like to be outside. I do like to read, but most of the stuff that I'm reading, I'm trying to learn about gardening as well. So I like to watch other YouTube channels. I like to watch Laura with Garden Answer. I like to watch Jenny with Creekside. I like to watch Janie with, um, it's called Plant, Dig, and Repeat or something like that. I'm not really sure, but I'll throw the name up. So there's other, other like YouTube channels that I like to watch. But like I said, I'm constantly like to learn new things. Some things I already know and some things I don't. I like to keep up with the news, even though that that's a little bit more taxing on me right now because the more I hear about war and everything, my son's in the military, it gives me not really, not one to say that I have high anxiety. I don't have high anxiety. And I do know that he's prepared for this and he would like to go like to be deployed because that's what he's trained for. But I just have to pray about it, right? Like if something like that happens, I just have to pray that God will bring him back to me and that I'll have to leave it in his hands and that I should not worry. So I know in the Bible, it tells you how many times do not worry, do not worry. And I know a lot of times you have that little devil on one side and then you have the angel on this side and this side's telling you negative thoughts and this one's telling you not to worry well I have to worry I have to listen to this side right I have to listen to my angels telling me not to worry that it's in God's hands so that's what I try to do <laughs> guys I never thought I would love orange in the garden but I do so love so love orange in the garden I think it's just a different color I think it just brings happiness. So what do you think? Do you like this color of orange? Would you have ever have thought about being this bold or vibrant in your own garden? But to me, it just brings me pure happiness when I look at it. And it's bold enough that I can sit on my back porch and just look at these gorgeous colors as well. And in the springtime, when it starts to grow and really fill out, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a beautiful container. Talking about quiet moments, I know one of my neighbors, she actually likes to clean. Like, she loves to clean. She says that that just does it for her. And I, I like to clean because I like everything to look nice and tidy, just as I do in my garden. Like, I really can't stand to, like, like I said, I sit on my back porch and I look at what I created. So I feel like I've created this picture or I painted on a canvas with plants. So that's just real how I feel about gardening and I love it. But if I look at my porch and I look at this and I'm like that it's all like sad and dying and doesn't have life, I'm like I gotta get out there and like make it look pretty, you know? So my garden's constantly changing and it's my canvas is dark is constantly changing as well, I guess is what I should say. So anyways, this is the lantana, and this one, gosh, you can hear the crunch. Can you hear the crunch? I'm oh, sorry, that may be a little bit noisy. But it did get some of it, but it didn't get all of it. And I do like this structure of the lantana here in the garden because it's provided me with lots of color. It's a big, nice presence into my garden. So here for my, for my zone, zone A, Charlotte, North Carolina, they say that lantana will come back for me. Now I have not planted it in the ground and kept it in the ground to see if lantana will come back for me, but my friend Dawn, it did for her. Not, not every single plant, but most of it did. So it's no big deal for me right here. If this plant comes back up, great. If not, then I can just pull up the root system and then I can plant something else here too. And that's one thing about gardening is that there's always new plants coming out so I feel like that's exciting you know I don't know if you guys do you get excited about new plants and want to plant something new into your garden now I don't have like a lot of space in my garden so I have to be careful about what I want to put in my garden but I guarantee you if it doesn't bring me happiness that plant is coming out so I know a lot of you guys might frown upon that, but if you've got lots of space, 
And I may not think like that. I might not be that way. I may just leave that plant there. But anyway, I don't have a lot of space. I don't know why I'm putting this here. I have my pop-up bag right here. And oh my gosh, I have filled this up. So many times. My husband just mowed the grass, probably for the last time. I think we had it set at like three inches and then all day long, he bagged and got this grass cut down. Now we do have warm weather grass, so we do have Bermuda and it is gonna turn brown in the winter time. So, and you know, I have Sasha and she comes out here and she gets it all in her paws and then she carries it back inside. And I'm already having to vacuum at least once or twice every single day because she's so she's shedding and she's got so much hair she is beautiful gosh she's gorgeous but it's a handful having to keep up with all the fur that she's losing and all the hair that she's dropping and actually I got her at the uh, groomers today so I'll make sure I show you when she comes back I'll share a picture with her I enjoy talking to you guys. That that to me is peaceful too. I never thought that I would enjoy this. I've always liked to teach because I do ultrasound and teaching to me comes easy. Like I, I love helping other people and I like making, you know, especially ultrasound techs. I like to make them better if they ask me and, and they need the help. So I've always been like, a giver and I think that's one of my gifts. Do you know what your gifts are by the way? There's lots of gifts. Like I feel like my husband's gift is leadership and my son's gift is leadership. Um, my daughter Ashley, I feel like her gift is giving as well. She gives a lot and so, so does Jenna. So I think she kind of fell in with me on that one. My two girls. Now Kyle, he's he's in the military and they need him. He he likes to think for himself and he is definitely a leadership guy. So I have a lot of coneflowers in the garden too, so I'm just pruning them all the way back as well. So what I'm pruning right now is called Walker's Low. It is a nepeta, and it provides lots of interest in the garden with me, for me, in the um, all throughout the year. So it, this is a makes a big presence in my garden, and I have a whole hedge here as well. The butterflies and the bees love it, so I enjoy that. And then I do prune, once it flushes out in the um, springtime or summer, early summertime, then I'll cut it back. And then at least, I'm gonna say, at least cut this back at least twice or sometimes three times a year. And then that way, whenever you cut it back, it encourages to flush out with new blooms as well. And I like that it's, I like different textures and different colors. So think about that when you're placing plants next to each other. using my Foco 2 pruners. You could also use, if you have like a electric hedger, you could you can use that as well. The only thing 
the reason why I don't like to use an electric hedger, especially in areas like this, is that I don't want to necessarily prune my candy corn spirea because it's still giving me like lots of gorgeous fall color right now. This plant is a little workhorse. It is just beautiful as well. This weekend, I planted six flats of pansies and it was not just like 12 plants. So it was like 28 pansies in each flat. So yeah, like I coordinated that with all my tulips that I'm gonna plant in December after they're cooling. They're in the refrigerator right now, cooling. I'm pretty excited about that. And another thing that calms me too is just planning. Like this is a perfect time to plan what you're gonna do for your garden next year. Like it's constantly always going through my mind. If I see something on Instagram, which I have a lot of YouTube, not YouTube, a lot of gardening things on Instagram. And the more that you like pull up with gardening, the more that you're gonna find. So like why, with the, why, oh, what's it called? Monrovia, I have, I'll like follow them for all their new plants and of course Proven Winners, definitely. And there's a couple of YouTube, not YouTubers, um, Instagram people that have reels all this all the time. And I actually have post a lot of the stuff on Instagram as well. You can follow me there as well if you like. And Facebook, it's all Backyard Blooms with Kim. But, you know, honestly, I have such a hard time creating content anyways because I work, still work full time. And if you guys want to like and share, like, all my YouTube channels and help me grow. That way I'll have more time to stay home and do this. I would like absolutely love to do that, to have that opportunity to spend more time doing this with you guys. Well, anyways, I, I can plan a lot by watching those Instagrams because they're always talking about new plants and like plants that go good together. And they'll talk about different perennials that are all purple or whatever, so just love to get ideas like that. So I'm back from picking up Sasha, and look how pretty she is. She's so beautiful. She needed it so, so bad. She, she's got goopy stuff in her eyeballs though. She was shedding so bad. It was not funny. You say hi, Sasha. You say hi to you. Gave her a real pretty bandana. Look at that. Her so pretty. Her so gorgeous. Her so good in her. Yeah. Her so good. Yeah. All right. Plum, is you gonna sit down in the sun? Yeah. She's so pretty. So that's another thing that you can do. Just like everyday life. Just enjoy your animals. Take time and love on them they need it too they they so desire our love so so much and they so appreciate it don't you Sasha yeah we get busy and we have to do everything and we got to do everyday life and we just don't have enough time and then they're gonna get old and then you're gonna be like sorry that you didn't spend enough time with them playing with them sitting down on the ground and just giving them a good rub. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that right, Sasha? She is so funny to you guys. Like, she is a, I, I kind of say she's a herder, but she, like, her gift is definitely protector. Like, we can't even go out on a walk together, me and my husband, because she's got to have us both together. So, if my husband takes her out the door and starts walking, she'll, like, stop. So she's got to have both of us. Now, I don't know if you got dogs that are like that, but that's what her gift is. She just wants to do nothing but protect us. She is so loyal to us. Now, if I take her to, um, she got groomed at, today at Bubbles and Bows in Fort Mill. So thank you so much, Bubbles and Bows. You take such good care of her. I think it's so funny because you take her in there and all these dogs are just like loose everywhere, just walking around. So to me, like that, how unusual is that? Like, like not too many groomers just have their dogs just running around everywhere. But I love that. Like it like gets her used to other dogs too. So 
everybody thinks that she's gonna eat them. She's not gonna eat your dog. No. No. Well, guess what I'm gonna do today as well. So I brought my little pumpkin out here and I've already cleaned this up, but I belong to the Palisades Women's Club. And then behind me is our little lake house that we use as a community. So we're gonna go down there this afternoon and I cleaned my pumpkin all up and I do need to take off this part right here. That's the reason why I came out to get my pruners is to try to remove this off. But we are going to do like a little arrangement for Thanksgiving and we're gonna hot glue succulents on here. So I know if you've seen some of my shorts, I've done a couple, at least I've done one short. And then I made another one for my friend Cindy for her birthday. That's when I had so many pretty things in the garden and now I don't have so many pretty things. The only thing that's really blooming right now are my David Austin roses. And then I still have some blooms from my salvia on the side over there. I'm trying to think what the salvia name is. That blew, blew my mind, but that's the evolvulus that I had on the side. What is that salvia? It's something blue in it. I don't know. If I think of it, I'll tell you. So anyways, I'm just trying to remove the stem right here. And, you know, I'm gonna try to bring you along. I don't know what the other girls are gonna think about me videoing <laughs> down there. But if anything, I'll throw some pictures up too, to show you. How many have you have you ever glued succulents on to something before? I'm assume that it would still live since it doesn't like much water. I don't know, I guess if you had moss, if you glued moss on here, but I'm gonna find out, aren't I? Well that's what we're gonna do. So I got like a little heirloom pumpkin, and then they said that to bring a six to seven inch heirloom pumpkin and eight dollars in cash for all of our succulents and a hot glue gun and she's going to provide all the material and there's going to be about 16 or 17 ladies down there doing pumpkin so like i said i'll be down there from two to four and i'll make sure that i share everything with you so i'll see you after my succulent pumpkin succulent arrangement like I'm sitting here enjoying myself, talking to you guys, and I tried to sit there and get pictures of, of any kind of bird, and now I have bluebirds on my, on my um, a watering thing for the bird bath. Jeez, you guys, like what has happened to my brain? My brain is about to lose it. The bluebirds are down there. Like I just love, just sitting on my porch, drinking my coffee in the morning, just looking at the oasis that I created, me and my husband created, and all the beauty that's around it. So, like, I didn't, and don't, like, freak out, you guys. You, like, look at my garden, you're like, I could never do that. Yes, you can. You can do it. Like, I did it a little bit at a time. Can you imagine if you planted one plant in your garden every week, just one plant every single week, you would have... 52 plants or so minus some holidays yeah that would create like a gorgeous garden if you did one garden and you put one plant in it every single week that would just be so pretty so you could do that on a budget right good there's one of the bluebirds how many of you enjoy watching birds? Like, I know I'm getting old, but I think that I would enjoy it if I was young too.
How's it going? Ch -ch 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 and that's what we have. Yep. So I thought I'd end this video inside because there's some background noise in the back of my neighborhood right now. So I really try really hard to keep that background noise away from you guys because I know it can be annoying. But however, wasn't that class so much fun? The whole video today was enjoy the smaller things in life, right? So just take the time and look at the bees and look at the butterfly, butterflies and look at the birds and enjoy your time with other people. Look how pretty this is. It is so beautiful. Like I am in love with this. So it was very easy. That's all they did was glue some moss down onto the pumpkin. You don't cut the pumpkin or anything. And then you just hot glue all your succulents. And she did such a great job with all the succulents. So she bought these from a big box from California and they are so, so pretty. And she was super happy with it too. I just love it. Look how gorgeous. So I'm so happy that I got like a little centerpiece right here for my Thanksgiving dinner. And I think my kids are gonna like actually love it as well. And I can do this every year, every year. I advise you to do this and get a group of neighbors and do your own. It was so much fun. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. So I enjoyed all the smaller things in life today. I enjoyed my dog today. I enjoyed the butterflies, the birds, the bees. I did a little bit of pruning, a little bit of a chit chat with you guys, and I had so much fun. So I'll see you in the next video, but oh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe my videos if you want more gorgeous blooms like this that will come to you as well. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.